listen with your heart. I say that a lot. What do I mean when I say listen with your heart? Live your whole life coming from your heart. I'm not talking about emotions. I'm not talking about happy or sad or good or bad. I'm talking about awareness. You have more feelings, more sensations going heart to brain than you ever have going brain to mind. So what am I talking about when I'm saying tune in, tune in to those feelings? I used to think, well, I used to wonder, how come I just know things? How come I just know how to design and build furniture, climbing toys. How come I just know how to play musical instruments I've never studied? How do I know how to bring in a tune instantly? How do I know? Well, it's because I'm tuned in, not in my feelings, definitely not in my ego mind. It's up in, some people think it's in the brain. I don't think your mind is in your brain. I have been working with energy all my life. You have too. But maybe I haven't been doing it consciously. So let's see if you can tune in to how I explain it so that your world will become richer and a whole lot easier to navigate when you have this consciousness, when you have this awareness of coming from your heart, not your emotional heart. Everything that exists, you, me, the room, the outdoors, the air, the land, the water, it's all one, one energy. There's not a Reiki energy and then a Manahuna energy. There's not a, such a thing as empty space that has no energy in it. There are actually scientific devices now that can measure what appear to be empty spaces and see all the activity going on in there. To your body, what's controlling your body, the wisdom that goes on in your body is single-celled organisms. It's the virus, it's the bacteria, it's the fungi. All these things are the one singular energy. So when I'm talking about tuning in, it's allowing yourself to connect with those energies. For instance, my dad left home when I was very, very little, and he transitioned to another plane when I was eight. I started building things after he was gone. I never even knew. He had completely designed and built the most extraordinary workshop and basement, finished basement and storage areas I have ever seen. He did it all by himself. I didn't know that. And yet I knew his energy without knowing I was knowing his energy and taking it all in. I've done all kinds of house repairs. How did I do it? I don't know. I started building furniture when I was a little kid. I don't know how I did it. I just did it. Maybe it had something to do with his energy still being in the tools because I went down in his workshop and I used his old hand tools, you know, the drill. It was almost as big as me and the hand saws. And how did I become an artist? I didn't even know my dad was an artist. Many, many years later, my teen years, I found a drawing he had made. Okay, so that's where my artistic talent came from. Oh, you could say it's genes, or you could say 
I was tuning into his energy that was still present. Every skill I have, I've been cooking since I was four years old. I just know how to cook things. I know how to put things together without anybody telling me how. There are so many things in my life I've just known without giving it a second thought, but you do it too. How do you know how to do certain things in your life? How do you explain certain knowings you have, certain talents, certain abilities? You're tuning in to the energy that's all around you. Have you ever thought of an idea for a product? I know I thought of a really cool climbing toy when my kids were pretty small. And I just designed one and I just built it. And I think it was about five years later, there it was only, it wasn't as nice as mine. It was smaller than mine. There's was plastic, mine was wood. I've seen so many devices, so many products that I had in my mind, some of them I made, but not all of them. And yet there they were manufactured. I believe that there are just ideas, like there's this idea area. I used to think it was someplace up in the universe, but now I just think it's everywhere. And when we're with people who have those talents and those knowings and those abilities, we can tune into those knowings and those talents and those abilities and I'm absolutely convinced that's why I could do so many things and I could do a good job at so many things. You do too. Think about what you like to do. Got it? Think about what you're really good at. Think about talents that you have. Maybe they came naturally. Maybe you got to take lessons, but what prompted you to want to take certain kinds of lessons? Those are an accidents that you tuning into energies in your environment that you may be choosing probably out of your awareness. Energies you may be choosing on an unconscious level to tune into, to take in. I want to be really sure if you haven't done so already that you are ready to step in a new direction in your life. Isn't that why you're here? Your world looks a certain way. How come? You want to know why. And you want to know why you can't change the course of your life. So that's what step in a direction is about. Here's what you find in step in a new direction. Look at your life. Do you see problems? Do you see solutions? Both are always there. Every problem comes with the solution. In fact, many possible solutions. I'm actually reading step in a new direction to you and you can download it, link in the show notes. Step out of the box, move beyond your five physical senses to find those solutions. Now you always get both sides of the coin, you get the good and the bad. You get to choose how you feel. Do you feel happy or sad? Why waste time and energy keeping the past alive? Does that serve you? How could it serve you? Instead of seeing a challenge, choose to see an opportunity. Your life is only hard when you expect it to be. So don't you think it's time for you to let go? You don't need to work at letting go. 
You don't need to try to let go. You don't need to try really, really, really hard to let go. You just let go. Over and done. Just relax. Listen with your whole being. Sometimes I tell you to breathe with your whole being because you don't just breathe in through your nose or your mouth and into your lungs. You breathe in through your skin. All of you breathes. Relax and listen with all your being. Know that you only see 1% of reality. The other 99% dwells in spirituality. That's why you're coming here. So let's get metaphysical to discover the 99%, the invisible forces that make up your world, that drive every choice, every decision, every action you take. Pay attention to the feeling in your gut. Okay, when I'm saying tune in, I'm talking about your heart. I'm talking about your gut. And choose to act immediately without delay. Just jump it into it. Don't think about it. Don't process it. Don't wonder about it. If the information, if the feeling's coming to you, it's because you're ready for it. Just do it. That feeling that's coming to you in your awareness, that feeling's your intuition. It knows what's best for you in your life. And it speaks in whispers. Sometimes you can't tell whether the voice you hear inside your head is a critical little voice. You know, the one I call the commentator. Or is it your intuition? See, your intuition provides your direct connection to your spirit. And in the silence, you can hear it guide your every move. So when I'm talking about meditation, I'm not talking about a script or a special method or sitting or being in a particular way. I'm talking about just being with whatever comes into your awareness. Slip easily into the groove. Float along in your current of life. You'll find it easy to release and finally let go of struggle, of doubt, of wondering what it's all about, and how you can get yourself out of the doldrums. Don't be waiting for somebody to do that for you, because nobody's coming to do that for you because nobody else can do it for you. Rather than worrying about anything, use accurate thinking to step into forward action. Positive thinking serves you no better than negative thinking. Accurate thinking. What's accurate thinking? Life just is. Things just happen, and they don't have innate meanings to them. When you recognize that fact, your life becomes clear. And closing, step in a new direction, is my message. Welcome to the sunshine. Welcome to your bright new day. Welcome to living life your way in joy. Inside, your life happens inside you. That's I-N and a separate word, J-O-Y. In joy, E-N-J-O-Y is the meaning that you're probably accustomed to. And what I'm all about is you discovering capital I-N, capital J-O-Y, 
exclamation point as one word, because that's how you really experience life within when you tune in. I thank you, thank you. Thank you so much for joining me here today. This has been a special edition of Let's Get Metaphysical, Connecting Heart and Mind. You can join our Facebook group, ask questions, meet somebody new, make a new friend. Tell me what you want to know more about. And remember, you can go to our website where you can listen to or watch any episode. And we're actually up over 160 now and going because I tune into the universe. The universe always lets me know by the vibrations I'm getting, though I'm not hearing words. I'm not seeing written messages, but that's how I've written all my songs, all my books, all my articles, all my blog posts. I just tune in and it comes through me. Do you know Deepak Chopra writes his books that way? Do you know Wayne Dyer did that? I imagine a lot of very prolific writers do that. We never sit at a blank page because it comes right through us. And your life happens right through you. And when you tune in with awareness, your life's going to happen with a lot more joy and definitely a lot more ease. If you go on over to our link for Audible, you will be able to get a free download on our 30-day trial where you get to look all over that site and enjoy the incredible stuff that you're not going to find anyplace else. That link is also in the show notes along with how to download and get your copy a Step in a New Direction. I look forward to being here with you next time.